just to cover the bases this is handrail at 36 inches tall with a second rail that brings it to 41 and a half inches tall and I think he's it's pink because he was wearing a pink shirt oh, pink right. yep. but if you Blue blow red. if you blow up on it and you come to this corner this is an elevation shot we're mounting to the existing this is the existing header that we're going to remove all the pickets from and we're going to bolt that to it and then these blades to it and then the cable is going to be these lower pieces are all cables so the, it's pretty descriptive it's a one and a half by three top one by two next next rail down these pickets in here are only three eighths wide by two inches wide and then this middle post is still a two and a half inch square the same as the back post that'll be strong enough in a 36 foot span to be able and this is from the existing stuccoed pilaster to existing stuccoed pilaster so this is a concept of what his rail would look like for that section. Now moving on to another drawing, the core 10 drawing. This drawing is a drawing of the area that's underneath the deck that we only wanted to have four foot six tall above this little pilaster. So that's about 18 feet worth, but we had to, we have to make these panels with bins on them and then they'll weld to embeds below earth and that's that's going to give it the wind resistance that it needs and then we cut slots in it and these slots can change to any shape um, so that you can barely see through but we have a panel and then an inverted panel and a reverted panel and then an inverted panel and this actually has more than one or two brakes because that's the part that's going to mount the hinges to and then the gate and then we have this last panel before it rolls into blades and goes down the hill. This is about where the poppets grass area was that you're going to take out. And this is not all in one straight line. It's going to go, it's going to have, um, you know, it's going to be going towards your parking lot. And then it's going to start swaling away from your parking lot. Because this goes down the hill on the driveway. We just, we have to map that out. But when the embeds are in, then we'll just start standing the blades up and welding them. And how we detail the top of the blades... If you want them to look like spears, we'll just have to detail them the way we want them detailed. But this is the basic concept drawing. Then moving on, I actually took this drawing and I actually hatched a pattern in there and then colored the hatch. And then if you zoom up, you'll see the slots. So this is what the panels are going to look like after they're all rusted out. And this is the width of how skinny the slots are that you're going to see through them. So that's what that looks like. So if you can't see the slots, just zoom up on them. And we can always change the design on the slots. Anyway, so there's some basic concept drawings. Mark them up and we'll make the changes and keep moving forward.